James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying a gorgeous uh, Hermes uh, blue tie. It's a light blue tie. has a really neat honeycomb pattern to it. We'll go over that with you right now. It's a, kind of a, it's, a, it's a lighter blue. The whole tie is a light blue, but then it has an even lighter blue that's surrounding the darker blue, creating kind of a honeycomb pattern. It's the only way I know how to describe it. Uh, very nice uh, design. Absolutely beautiful tie. Uh, of course, Hermes makes a phenomenal product. Their silk is one of the best silks that money can buy. I mean, it's always always feels amazing. You just want to rub it against your face. I have one of their scarves too, and a bunch of their ties, and it just feels phenomenal. They lay absolutely perfect. You know, the silk just is very malleable. Um, their ties are similar to Ferragamo in thickness, maybe a tad bit thicker than a Ferragamo, just maybe a little tiny bit. Um, but just a very very well made tie. They always feel nice. So we're gonna tie this baby up and see how it comes together here. Color up. First thing I do is find our spot, of course. We always start there. So what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm thinking about the thickness of the tie and how long do I need this to be in order for me to tie a perfect full Windsor knot and still have the uh, tip of the tie around my belt buckle where I want it to be. So on an Hermes tie, it's very similar to a Ferragamo for me. It's going to be right around this range, somewhere right around here for me. And so that brings my the back of the tie down a little bit low on pectoral muscle. Hermes does use plenty of silk in their ties, so it's not super short like some of the uh, brands that try to do that to you. <coughs> Giorgio Armani, <coughs> Ralph Lauren Purple Label. Anyway, they make a great tie. So um, let's tie this baby up, see how it comes together. We'll take the long part of the tie, and we're going to come over top of the short part. We're going to come up and behind and through. Now we're going to come around behind again, holding everything nice and tight. It's a brand new tie, never tied before. I love tying new ties. Down through. Now we're going to tidy this up and make sure at our checkpoint everything looks nice, which it does. We're going to come over the top, creating a little pocket right here. This is our pocket right here. Back in behind and through. Now we're going to push the tie down through that pocket we just created. Hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie down through. Take the edges of the tie, kind of turn them back just a little bit, and then you're going to hold the knot and pull the long part. The magic's about to happen, folks. As we do this, this triangle is going to get perfect. Watch this. Check this out. Whoop! Perfect triangle. Absolutely perfect. Now we take the short part of the tie, the back of the tie, and we hold the knot, and we pull, it, pull up to our neck, and we want to check for our length. We want the tip of the tie. That's this part right here. Be somewhere between the top and the bottom of our belt buckle. And we are actually right towards the bottom, so we're good. You know, I try to nail them dead center, but I'm always good with the bottom because I'm a guy, you're a guy. Throughout the day, guess what happens? These pants sag just a little bit, right? So it keeps my tie still looking fresh, so it's all right right there. The other thing we can do is we can take and we can pull the tie up a little closer to our neck. So let's pull the collar down, tidy this all up, and just see how it comes together. Okay. We want absolutely no gap here. So now... Normally what I would do in this situation, because there's a little gap, I would tighten the knot a little bit, and then I would pull the tie up towards the top. But because the tie is already pretty long, I tied it pretty long, I don't want to tighten this knot at all, because that makes it longer. So I'm just going to hold on to the knot and pull the shorter part of the tie, the back of the tie, and bring that up to my neck, so I have no gap. Look, how, look at that, perfect. Symmetrical, triangular, no gaps. And we're still above the top, above the bottom of the belt buckle, so we're absolutely perfect. Okay, the look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. I'm going through it with you right now. We're looking classy today. I'm telling you, I love this outfit today. So today we're wearing a charcoal gray Amerna Gildo Zinnia suit, charcoal gray suit. We're wearing a pink Brooks Brothers uh, Milano fit shirt, and we're wearing a gorgeous light blue Hermes tie. Absolutely beautiful tie. Uh, we're pairing that today. My phone's buzzing, telling it to go away. Apologize for that, guys. Uh, I try to do always in one take right there, so I just got it on buzz. Um, I'm wearing that uh, today a black Hermes belt. Because we're in an Hermes tie, I thought, ah, we might as well wear an Hermes belt, right? Uh, I wear a lot of Ferragamo belts, as you probably know, because the belt buckles are interchangeable. I love that. Um, Hermes belt with a gold belt buckle for the shoes. Whoop! Christian Louboutin, red soles. Love, love, love these shoes. Um, and uh, they're absolutely gorgeous shoes. That's what we're wearing for our for our look today. Very classy look, the black belt, the black shoes. Hey, check out my Instagram, Tie Guy James Acres. You'll see close-ups of the belt and shoes. You'll see uh, close-ups of the tie, the knot, selfies of me wearing it, all that kind of good stuff. So check that out, guys. Thanks for watching. I am ready for work.